Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Leidenberger Weizenbach Hell. This beer is a combo, kind of a, a Weizenbach is like a, is a Bach and a Weizen. Yeah, and a wheat beer. And a wheat beer. <laughs> so uh, yeah, about 40 to 60% of the, the barley is typically replaced with, uh, with wheat. And we can expect some of those weedy, kind of grainy flavors, I'm assuming. Yeah, some of the um, kind of traditional fruity esters that you get, the banana um, out of a, Hefeweizen, and I guess some, a more maltier build uh -oh. out of the Bach. Wow, look at that one go. So this one is a 7.4% mm. beer, which is the highest we've seen so far Yeah. in yeah. this whole pack. Um, again, with the very basic and generic uh, sticker label there. It's a white can with a blue sticker. But it does look cool. I don't know, it says it's honored as the world's best. It does. Honored as one of the world's best Weizenbach beers. That's, well, that's saying praise. something. I mean, immediately I can tell you, yeah, it's it's got some sediment going on. It's definitely definitely looks like like a Hefeweizen. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, looks like this is one of the pale versions of a Weizenbach because there's there's dark ones and then there's also pale ones. Mm. This is on the side of a pale version. Yeah, given the alcohol content on this one, I was assuming anyway that it was going to be a darker one, yeah. but I eh, guess not. Head looks very, very nice, really fluffy and, and sort of like pillowy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks great. Really nice lacing around the glass. Like that is just crazy looking. Dense bubbles. Very pretty. Yeah, this is a gorgeous looking beer. All right, well, on the nose, let's check it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Lots. that's. Lots of banana. Wow. This smells, this smells just like a Hefeweizen. It really does. That's that's delicious smelling. Wow. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I hope it tastes just as good as it smells right now. Oh, that would be a, a welcome addition yeah. to the pack for sure. My God. Yeah, you're getting a little bit of that clove, a little mm -hmm. bit of that graininess in the background from the from the wheat and the malt. Um, Not as much malt, but I get a it's expected bit. since it's a pale. If you sniff past, yeah. The, the, the estuary quality of the yeast. Yeah, it's play. in the back. It's in the back, it's there. Yeah, it's just not as prevalent, I guess. Mm, yeah, it smells delicious. Let's go ahead and dive in. I hope this tastes like banana runs. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay. That's good. Okay, that, that little quote there is uh, actually might be correct. Might be right, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is good. This is really good. There's, there's like a, a hint of roastiness back there. Just a hint. At the very end, yeah. It's It's basically what we're getting here is a Hefeweizen with that little hint of roasty malt. That's that's what this is. It finishes, uh, it, it's not clean. It's got this lingering sort of... Um, There's some spice notes in there. Spiciness to it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. a little bit of that, that clove kind of thing coming through. Um, and it just, it sits on the palate a little bit longer than you might expect, but it's yeah. so good. It's got enough body. This will, finally we have oh, a yeah. beer with enough body. This is full bodied for sure. Yeah, this is great. This is a nice one. It's a little on the sweeter side, which is traditional of the Bach. So I'm getting that Bach essence essentially. Mm. Yeah, that combined with the roastiness of it right in the back, just, it's, just plays it off the banana really well. Well, yeah, this one's a winner for sure. Um, I think what we're gonna do actually is skip a bunch of these beers because they're all kind of, we don't want to sound like broken records and give you the same information. I mean, there's like, what, six or seven more Hellas Lagers in there and like a couple lagers and like some other stuff that we've kind of already done. Mm -hmm. And at risk of sounding like boring about it, we're just gonna pick the most interesting ones, one of which being this one. And we're just gonna cover those uh, and and close out this pack once and for all. Cause I mean, they did give us a lot of the same kind of beer, you know? Yeah. And I feel yeah. like it's kind of- We're kind of- We're not gonna waste you guys' time and waste our time filming it and all that if it's just gonna be the same, the same story every time, you know what I mean? So, well, that does it from us. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And until next time, stay crafty. Cheers.